Hey everyone, this is Tommy signing on on Energy Academy. Now I have some fantastic news for you if you live in the EU and I'm in some fantastic news. Now, recently, the EU Commission declared gas and nuclear as green energy. Now, when I heard this, I was pleasantly surprised and shocked because this is the EU we're talking about, which has been very vocal about the use of fossil fuels, which gas definitely is. And one of the most powerful nation, if not the most powerful nation in the EU, Germany, has been on a warpath with nuclear. These are the potential of making the EU one of the most competitive and attractive economy in the world in the next 40, 50 years. In the previous video I made titled The Energy Matrix, I described six principles essentially that energy policies should be built around that every nation should follow. And it will enable us to use more energy whilst we reduce the pressure on the environment. Now in the video, I described six principles which I bunched together under an acronym called SCARS, which stands for Security, Concentration, Availability, Reliability, Compatibility and Economics. Now, why I believe that gas and nuclear is such a fantastic um, source of energy, especially within the context of the EU, is because gas and nuclear meets these principles. But I'm not going to talk about these principles in depth in this video. If you want to know more about those principles, I'll say you should go and watch the video I made previously. Now, the first reason why gas and nuclear is fantastic for the EU is because it enables the EU states to have energy security. Now, gas is sourced within the EU boundary. So nations like Norway are massive producers of gas energy. The UK, which is also quite close to the EU and shares energy with the EU also produces a lot of gas from the North Sea. So gas is something that EU nation states can actually extract locally. Now there's also the potential of extracting gas from one of the biggest gas producing nations in the world that is Russia, which nations within the EU are currently doing. Now two thirds of the world's nuclear fuel is produced by Canada, Australia and Kazakhstan. Canada and Australia are very close allies of EU nation states. So therefore, in terms of nuclear fuel, there is a lot of energy security in terms of where these energies can be sourced from, particularly Canada and Australia. Therefore, the use of gas and nuclear energy ensures that EU nation states have energy security for many years to come. Now, the second reason why the use of gas and nuclear is fantastic is because it reduces the cost of energy. Now, you might be thinking, well, we used gas last year and gas prices have gone up so much. So what's the advantage of using gas? In fact, how can it be a benefit for us cost-wise if gas prices are currently high? The reason why gas prices have gone up is because there wasn't enough gas procured in the long term. Now, if you buy gas on a short-term market, which is known as buying at spot price, you'll get gas prices that are quite high. If, however, you get gas prices on long-term contracts, say buying five 10 years into the future, you'll actually have the cost of the gas supply to you reduced. So with the EU saying now that they're gonna use more gas in the future, what that means is that EU nations can now start procuring gas five, 10 years into the future, guaranteeing and reducing the instability of gas costs going forward. Case study for the cost benefits of using nuclear is France. Now France invested heavily in the 70s in its nuclear fleet. That's why the cost of Electricity in France is considerably lower than a country like, say, Germany, which is experiencing and has experienced high energy costs. So investing in nuclear today will pay massive dividends going forward into the future in terms of energy costs. Now, the third reason is tied to the second reason that for many years, the EU has lost a lot of heavy industry, especially to the East and countries like China, Vietnam, India, once you reduce the cost of energy, the cost of doing business or the cost of selling your product becomes much more attractive and economically viable. And the knock on effect of that is that you start to build back necessary skills in heavy industries, you increase economic activities, you increase the pay of people. So the economy is stimulated and all that because you're using energy sources that brings down the cost of energy. The fourth reason why gas and nuclear are fantastic sources of energy is because they essentially enable you to have a cleaner industrial environment. Gases like nitrous oxides, sulfur oxides are very dirty gases. And these are gases that are produced when you combust coal or when you combust diesel and petrol. And so by using gas and nuclear, you are essentially able to generate a lot of energy with reduced amount of 
gases like nitrous oxide, sulfur oxide. Gas, for example, doesn't produce as much nitrous oxide as you get if you burn coal or if you burn diesel or petrol. Nuclear is the most concentrated form of energy that we have, which means you can generate a lot of energy with relatively low resources. This is a good thing because we can then produce a lot of energy required to electrify our transportation system. Now, there are some issues I have with electrifying the entire transportation system, um, which I will talk about in a future video, but suffice to say that there is actually some benefits to the electrification of some vehicles, especially in packed dense urban areas like Paris, Brussels, London. If you have an electrified grid, that means that the emissions that come out of combustion engines, such as nitrous oxide and sulfur oxide, which has detrimental effects um, for the respiratory systems of people that live in those areas, is substantially diminished. So the benefit of gas and nuclear in having a cleaner atmosphere, especially in having a cleaner air to breathe, is quite substantial. So for these four reasons, that is for the security benefits, for the cost benefits, for the environmental benefit, for the manufacturing benefit, I believe that gas and nuclear energy will make the EU a beacon of many nations in terms of its manufacturing, in terms of the cleanliness of its air, in terms of its energy costs. I believe it's going to make the EU nations very secure for many years to come. So what are your thoughts on what I've just said? Do you think gas and nuclear is green energy? Do you think it's beneficial energy? Do you think the EU has made a grave decision by declaring gas and nuclear as green energy? Let me know what your thoughts are. And as I always say on this channel, the most important thing is that we're having realistic, open and frank conversations about energy related matters. This is Tommy signing off on Energy Academy. Bye bye.